Hello, this is Torior and welcome back to Let's Play Europa Universalis 4 as Catholic Ottomans. And yeah, we con we are conquering the world all the time. Is Louisiana ready to accept my peace deal? Probably not. Nope. Still need to take some more. They do hold a fort. This is a capital fort, but still a fort. And they will probably hold another before I get there. So we'll need to retake that. Um, I could start a war against UPCA, I suppose. Then we would be fighting Haiti. And that could get hairy. Oh, I do have a fleet here. Alright, so... Oh, you know what? should probably attack them. So if I, want, if I want to effectively annex my vassals, I should start the annexation soon. Hmm. Ah, decisions, decisions. I suppose we can attack them. They probably don't have forts. Let's do it. Haiti, I will not call in as co-belligerent because they would call in Canada. And I do want to be, you know, the war leader and... No, not the war leader. I want Canada to be the war leader against me when I fight them. Here we go. We're effectively at war with most of the world now. And you have how many? Four forts only. That is great. Can I get here before you get a garrison? Probably not. Probably not. What I can do is start sieging everything quite quickly. And our subjects, our colonial subjects, should come and help soon. Now. And soon we will also no longer have truces with Great Britain and Castile and Aragon. Which means we will be attacking again. And will California join this? California did join this, which is slightly unfortunate because I could have them, could have had them um, as full members of the war if I waited a little bit. But uh, I still don't think we will be able to take everything in one war, so we need to get ready for more. Right in the meantime, are you guys ready to assault? You're not. All right then. I'll give you time. Siege of Timbuktu. Timbuktu. That did indeed take a long time. Here, okay, have some reinforcements, and you guys will do carpet sieging, as usual. So, we have four provinces remaining, and four armies ready to siege them. Uh, I mean, I am not counting the fort. After that, we'll actually be able to sign a peace treaty, but then that will need to be simultaneous with the peace treaty with Portugal, so that the guys can get land. Alright. I suppose that will be it for now. Oh, of course, we need to remember this British province that I still need to take care of. Uh, Portugal, are you ready to give me everything yet? Um, you probably would be if not for the two forts that I still need to siege. And that will give me 150% of extension, which will be very, very problematic, but I hope will be fine. Really, really hope will be fine. I might actually spend some military points on uh, preventing rebels from rising up, but our coring is quick, so we should do well. Now, mm, where is my fleet? Where is my fleet? Here's my fleet. Also, if we can uh, time the peace deals correctly and also take some stuff from uh, Lanna at the same time... Um, well, there is probably little difference between 150 and, for example, 190 over extension, so I could also take stuff from them. Uh, right. Still don't own everything in Louisiana. Wait a minute, what is that? Occupied by Huron. Hmm. Canada's at war. Come on, are you sieging it? Now, Louisiana, are you ready to surrender now? Not yet. I own everything they own, I think. But still, they're not ready to surrender. Wait a minute, is this USA? Oh crap. I did not demand this. Which means USA will actually exist after the war. I can't take everything. Mm, 
Let's say I leave you with your... With, a, with one province. Something that costs two war score. Black Mohawk. Yeah. I think that is everything they own. Isn't it? Well, I mean, I will sign this peace treaty, but uh, first, we need to take Louisiana. We need to take as much as we can from them. Also, I will need to retake this province. And then move to California. You're right. Our war exhaustion is probably getting dangerous. No, it is fine. Let us get back. Oh, did I see revolution there? No aspiration for liberty, that is bad. Internal conflicts. Revolution. Stability less than zero. Yeah. If we had low stability, we could get that. That would be interesting. But I don't want it to ruin my game. All right. Portugal. The fleet in position? The fleet indeed is in position. Yeah, have some more troops. <coughs> Come on. And when they arrive, we will attack. Yeah, we lost stability. Unfortunate. Oh, as I am Captain Admin, I will actually increase stability. This level 2 is not that expensive. Come on. When the troops get here, we will assault. Oh, we lost a battle. Where? Somewhere here, probably. Mm, yes, it must have been this province. Let's attack them and wipe them, if possible. And we have won the Siege of Mauritius, which means... Wait a minute, you can't carry all those regiments. Where's the other ship? Ah, it already went. Okay, we'll carry as many as we can. Get the ships and... Japan. Destination Japan. I'll just send you here so we can walk. We do have military access. Right. That is almost everything that we want from Portugal. Louisiana will probably still not accept, but I could check. Also, assault. Uh, yeah, let's just quickly check. Yeah, still not accepting. Maybe if I wipe their army or something. Do they actually own anything? Mm, no. They don't seem to own anything. Right now. We hold all the territory. Alright then. Can I wipe your army? I did attack in the mountains, but I am superior. Uh, yeah, that's a siege. I'll probably need to retake this province as well. Hmm, the garrison was only 475. And we wiped them. If I can assault, that will be very quick. Louisiana, you ready? They are ready. Almost. So what do I want? I will definitely need to get a connection. Maybe getting a connection to California as well would be nice. No, we can't take that many provinces. And that's 100% war score. And some Diplo points. I'm fine with that. Goodbye, Louisiana. Well, not, not strictly goodbye, Louisiana. There is still stuff they can they, they own and USA same thing applies to you so beautiful Virginia and Ottoman Louisiana just a little bit to mop up around here in the meantime um, let's focus on California I suppose UPCA is being conquered by our people we actually took that fort, so let's move and take another. Um, I could move into Haiti, or the Caribbean, but uh, it's 
could be a slight problem. So, what should I do with you guys? This army is far too big. Huh. Mm, I suppose I could check where your force are. Two provinces. Right. One and two. And the rest of you will do the carpet sieging as usual. So let's just take everyone that we had in the area. And go after California. Wait a minute, the black flagged guys. And um, they will. I suppose they will be fine, okay. And if they're not, I can always come back. Okay, again, more management, but we will take everything. Well, the black flag, the guys won't be able to siege anything. So let's uh, let's do it all all over again, excluding the black flagged. It will be much more. Um, what's the word? Reliable, that way. Right. I wish I could do that automatically in some way. But there is no automatic way, unfortunately. Klamath and Shasta. Okay, you guys do that. Mm, we are currently conquering stuff over here. How's Jolof? Still need to take those two forts if we are to transfer them to somebody. And we are still missing one fort from the Portuguese, which is located in Japan. This one, Satsuma. Colonial border conflict. Mm. On Colombia or Ottoman Brazil, I could increase liberty desire on one of them to reduce it on the other. Uh, who has the highest? Ottoman Colombia has high liberty desire, so I will reduce it there. Should work. Uh, right, South America is fully ours. Now we move into Mesoamerica, right? That's, that's what it's called. Properly, I think. And yeah, then we will finish up north, and we will finish up Portugal, and Aragon, and Cast oh, we have more merchants. Let's send them, let's send them to places that will grant us tons of money. Like, for example, hmm, I suppose I don't need them here. Where could I collect? I could transfer here. Ah, let's collect. Whatever. And I do have some power in this area. So let's collect in Krakow as well. That will increase my income slightly. Very, very slightly. And I should probably transfer a little bit more. Like, for example, here. Okay. Should work out fine. London is slowly being sieged. If we wait long enough, we might actually be able to take a lot from them. Mm. Are they willing to give me stuff, though? I mean, if I am juggling 150% over extension, I can just as well juggle a little bit more. Okay, that's too much, but we still need to take the fort of Satsuma. Where's the fleet? The fleet is not doing anything. Okay, lost the battle. That sucks. Uh, you guys return and take care of that. Kill that army and then return. Go on, get there fast. No, our people died again. But now theirs died. Their people died. Good. Okay, see just here, progressing, progressing, 
and marching. I suppose targeting California. Nah, it's fine. So, um, how long until the truce with Great Britain is over? January 79. That is not long off. Not a long way off at all. So we will attack you soon. I do have a large army here ready. Same goes for Castile and Aragon. Our subjects should do all the work. So, I do need a short period of peace to actually start annexing my vassals. But the war with UPCA will still take a little while. Unless we cut it short somehow. Okay, and the fleet is nearing its place of... Mm, its destination. Let's convert more people. Maybe we can get some influence with the Pope. Alright. Guys, get on the boats. And here we go. I wonder how much I'll be able to take from California. We'll have to spend some Diplo points, but that, that is fine. Cardinal Minister. Mm, no. Oh, wait. What is that? Cruelty of mercenaries. Local unrest in some provinces or lose prestige and mercenary cost changes. That will cost me a lot of money, but... Um, but if we are to take 150% of overextension, I cannot afford increased unrest. Those expenses are astronomic. Um, I could take garrison size increase, but I don't really need it for anything. So let's save those points for military technology instead. Uh, right, we occupied Chinook. Okay, this is all in order. We'll move them further a little bit later. No new sieges in... Uh, what used to be Mexico. How much will you give me? If I ask really, really nicely. Quite a lot, actually. Mm, not a lot, after all. Right, it is time to guarantee and... Whoops. Guarantee and revoke guarantee. So we can attack them again, soon. That's Louisiana and the USA. Oh, Portugal only hates me a bit. Come on, revoke. And I'm still waiting for another to revoke from USA. Lana occupied Krakow something. Oh, we're doing great progress with Lana actually. I suppose I could actually take that as well. Yeah, and Ayutthaya, what's your total war score cost? 103 and Parungun 130, which means I should I should be able to conquer them in single war each. Uh, right. So I might actually go for this peace treaty to be at peace for a while. Uh, right. Two forts actually have been completed here. So do you have anything else I should be sieging? Apart from regular territory. Let's siege regular territory then. Like all this land. That I will want to take from you. All right. Joloff, come on. If I am to sign a big peace deal, I will need those guys to finish sieging. Hmm, can I get any sea generals in the area? That will be helpful. I actually can. Alright. That will save us a lot of time. Same here. Give me a Siege General. Good. Should help a little bit. 
And this army I will have to pick up in due time. Lanna is being conquered. Only one fort remains. Here, have some reinforcements. Would that be sufficient? Well, that is not a lot of cannons. Mm, but you are blockading the fort. What am I saying? The cannons don't matter, I only need to assault. Come on, do it. Get the breach. And it's ours. Okay. The big moment is almost upon us. Hmm. I suppose... I suppose taking um, stuff from Jolov is not the highest priority. We can stay at war with them. Just as same goes for the colonials. Just uh, Lanana and Portugal should be lined up. So, Portugal. Uh, will that be all your colonial possessions? So beautiful. 150% of extension. This might be a huge mistake, but I am willing to risk it. Uh, because of how much of an annoyance sieging Portugal was. Let's unpause. The general has died and we took all this land. So pretty. Now we are horribly, horribly overextended. Uh, we'll deal with that shortly. For now, let's also sign a peace treaty with Lanana so we can do it all at the same time. Oh, wait a minute. Do I have enough points to be covering everything? Let's start with the highest overextension ones. And see how much admin points, how many admin points that will cost me. You're right. This is uh, this is not as bad as I thought. Oh crap! I forgot to reduce war exhaustion before I did that. I do need to reduce war exhaustion because our unrest is horrible. That would have reduced the cost slightly. Okay, and now we add Lanana to the mix. Because why the hell not? We're already overextended horribly. What can possibly go wrong, right? And now we are 250% overextended. This might might be the stroke that ruins me. Okay, I cannot call two provinces. That will be problematic. I cannot call three provinces. That will be even more problematic. Okay, I don't need to call those that don't give me overextension, but those three... Mm, that will be a problem. Because we will get disaster progress. <laughs> Mostly war exhaustion. Call for peace. Uh, right, call for peace. Uh, Jolof, uh, come on. Finish this. Quickly. Please. Maybe I should just leave them with the forts. No. I need to take them. Let's see, we should get a ton of negative events now. But if we can survive a year, I think the scoring will take a year, right? 1780. August. 13 months. Uh, sorry, it's June. 14 months. If we can survive 14 months, we will be fine. This is a lot of exertion to put on our country. But if we are to... If we were to f conquer all those Portuguese provinces again, that would be such a hassle. So I prefer to deal with rebels, if we have any. And I do have some military points, so I will... Uh... Okay, it's not as bad as I thought. Might actually increase... No, should have done that earlier. Um, if we have to, I will spend military points to deal with rebels. Separatist sentiment. I will just put it to the side, so it can wait to trigger a, a few months later, when we possibly are no longer overextended that much. Yeah, colonial assemblies, same thing. Portuguese peasants. Not my problem. But I could be moving forces around right now. 
Do I need to be doing that? Still need to conquer Japan. Or should I just wait? Oh, right, right, right. Autonomy. Never forget autonomy. Never ever forget autonomy. Especially in the new, newly conquered provinces. Some of those that I increased are actually not newly conquered, but I'm not getting a lot of money from here anyway, so... Let's make sure that nobody rebels. Especially those guys. Because Portuguese nationalists could actually rise up quite easily. Because we do have a lot of unrest everywhere. The autonomy is necessary. Yeah, right. This is basically crisis management. The crisis that we put ourselves into. And that we hope for pr to profit from. Yeah, right. Such a huge load of overextension. Okay, then. Any other places that I need to placate? That's uh, British, right? Here, and... It would probably be much more convenient to do from the ledger. Not from the ledger, from this... Uh, this tab. Let's see. Anything that has positive unrest and that we can increase autonomy in. That's what? Call me. Hmm. Yark and separatists. Because I don't really need that. Yeah, let's do it anyway. No, no, we could. Oh, we could push ourselves into another disaster. Now let's just check, uh, choose the ones with high revolt risk. Is it sorted somehow or not? Like this one. Yeah, let's leave all the fours behind. Revolt risk of four is fine, and so is six. Twelve is not. Okay. Anything else I'm missing? Now we're almost done with this. Just looking for high revolt risk. This might seem boring. <laughs> it is, actually, but um, yeah. Fortunately, I cannot sort by unrest. That sorting option would be very, very useful. Okay. We'll be getting tons of rebels, I think. Oh my god, the rebel surprising. I should have no, I should have allowed that to happen. Uh, I actually need to increase stability. I need to increase stability. Should have left Lanna alone. This will decrease all the revolt risk by one, even though oh, it cost me so many points. Okay, can I do anything else to, to influence that? Reduce war exhaustion by this little bit, by spending tons of points. Okay, let's see if any rebels will actually rise up. Oh, yes, they will. Mushanizva. Hmm. Maybe I should actually do some more autonomy increasing. Can I do that? In those provinces that actually have like three and all that. Let's do those as well. Yeah. Should have never taken London now as well. Just uh, Portugal should have been enough. I forgot uh, the almost exponential nature of the revolt risk, in, uh, revolt risk increase. Right. That's plus four. So we can't let rebels do anything, because if they actually take a province... 
that will prevent us from calling it quickly, pre um, prolonging our uh, overextension. Yeah, right. There was a one left. Let's do that as well. Yeah, really should not have taken London as well. Um, okay. You know what? I should do this off camera. And it has time to end the episode. So I will do a little bit more unrest management off camera. And I'll see you in the next episode. Hopefully we can survive. See ya.